I'm back. If you don't know, if you haven't been on my page, if you haven't checked in in a while, I have been on a few week hiatus. I just finished up grad school, but uh, nearly had a meltdown in the process. Um, kidding, not kidding. But grad school got pretty crazy, so I decided to more or less cut off social media for a couple of weeks. And I have learned some lessons during that time period, but mostly I'm really excited to get back to you, to get back to doing what I do, which is helping people, which I do in my job and I do through school too, but I love being able to coach people here through health and fitness. So watch out because I'm coming at you. Uh, now that I am back, I feel rested, I feel refreshed, I feel relieved. If anybody's ever worked full time and a, a couple of side hustles and gone to graduate school, it's a freaking lot, okay? Even even just some of those things would have been a freaking lot. But uh, I have learned so much from the process. What I learned specifically from taking a few weeks off social media, number one, nothing is that important. Ah. <laughs> I didn't really miss much. I did jump on to talk about Game of Thrones a lot though. So if anybody wants to talk about Game of Thrones, you feel free to DM me because last night made me mad as hell. <laughs> Just need to throw that out there. Uh, but number one, there's really not anything so important that you can't put your phone away. I don't know if you all know, but when we get little notifications and when we're scrolling Facebook or Instagram or whatever, our brains love that. Cause it's like, ooh, shiny new stuff. Show me, show me, show me. So that's why we're constantly wanting to do that. And our brain also likes routine at the same time. So when we wake up in the morning and it's the first thing we do, not only is it like, ooh, new shiny pretty things, but it's like, yes, this is what we do. This is how we operate. Every morning we do this, every afternoon we do this, every lunch break we do this. And so we develop these habits and forcing myself to break that habit the last few weeks was just really interesting to me. Uh, I, of course, had a lot more free time, but I also felt a lot less stressed. Like I was surprised because we get that burst of pleasure from checking out social media, but then I also got real um, anxious about social media. Like I would be like, oh my gosh, what if somebody messaged me? What if I have a notification? What if da 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 da? Well, like, look, okay, if somebody really needs me, they're gonna direct message me or they're gonna call me or they're gonna text me or whatever. It doesn't have to come through Facebook or Instagram, like nothing, something anybody puts on their stories is that direly important that we need to like put the rest of our lives aside. So first thing I learned is that there is life outside of Instagram and Facebook. Seems like a no brainer, yet we all do it. Let's see what else did I learn? Uh, kind of right along the same, li same lines is that social media will suck all your time away from you. So I spent a lot of time outside, spent a lot of time with my dog and my other half, and spent a lot of time planning, planning big things, super big things, planning my next um, private coaching group, planning my next kinds of things I'm gonna do health and fitness wise, planning some other projects I've got. So freed up a lot of time. Now granted, grad school helped free up an awful lot of that time also, don't get me wrong. No more grad school equals lots more time to think and plan and whatever. But just kind of shutting off the noise for a while really allowed me to focus in on what it is that I wanna do and what I need to do um, and what I wanna be and who I wanna be. So I am so, so excited. Um, I was kind of apprehensive to be back. I actually, in my brain, said I was gonna come back May 1st. It's a new month, it's a new day, you know, whatever. Um, but I decided to wait until today instead. So if you were sticking with me on my hiatus, thank you very much. Just know that I am back and I'm ready to kick some ass with you. So uh, yeah, I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope to see you soon.